Okay, so this is me documenting our cider making process. We've got about 200 kilos of apples. I've weighed everybody's and I've taken notes so I know how much cider we owe everybody. So this is all our apples. This is our apple chopper. It's awesome. I'm going to show you the apple chopper working soon. This is an old microwave. Uh, ignore it. It shouldn't be there. It's nothing to do with the cider making process. This is our juicer, but I'm not going to show you too much of that for the moment because I want to show you it in action later. Anyway, so we are all ready to go. So as I said, this is the apple chopper and we're about to use it. So we're going to, we have to turn the apple chopper on. So it sounds a bit like a hoover. And the bag of apples, which we've checked for bad ones, goes in there. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, we don't need receipts. And that's the apple chopper. So this is the exciting bit. We have taken our entire bushel, to use the uh, technical term, um, of pulped apple, and we have pressed it all down into our, um, what's it called, hydro? It's a hydro press. A hydro press, yes. So um, I didn't film this bit because I was helping, really, honestly. Mm -hmm. I was too. Um, getting all sticky. Um, we just basically pushed all the apples down and watch this. See, see how much juice has come out already? This is Richard just pressing. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, anyway, so this bit is a bladder. You can see it's pretty deflated at the moment, but it's attached to the hose and we're going to pump water into it. Okay, so first of all we put the, uh, put the lid on. Oh no, first of all we fold the mesh over. Yep, forgot that bit. I say we, it's, you know, royal we. Kind of. Sterilising stuff in the back. I'm not sure how, how, how quickly it's going to get exciting, so I might have to stop and restart the video. Is that it? Okay, it's not very exciting yet. Oh no, there we go. And basically, so the bladder inside is getting filled with water, so it's expanding, and as it expands, it's pushing out the pulp apple. And this will run for about five to ten minutes. It doesn't seem to come out of it very, very quickly. But you know what this is better than? Standing up with a magic mix and pulping the apples yourself, like we did last year, and using the handheld press where we just had to do all of this ourselves. Instead, water is doing it for us, and we think that's awesome. And then we just get to go, mmm, I think I shall have some apple juice. Yum, yum, yum. This is the messy part that happens afterwards. Look at this. This is the remains of the pulped apple. It is almost dry. So we have to take this off and then we have to put it in the recycle bin. This okay, isn't a particular... Right. Oh, we have to drain the bladder first, yes. This isn't a particularly exciting bit, so I'm not really going to film it. Plus, I need to help. Night has fallen outside. We've been at this for sort of four or five hours, chopping and pressing. This is Richard's just cleaning up. This is the batch we've made. Uh, this is 60 litres here. Um, just to give you an idea, last year I think we made about 16 litres, so this is 60. Uh, we'll have to sweep up tomorrow as there's bits of chipped apple and stuff. This, by the way, if you've given us apples, is why we keep half the cider from the apples you give us, because we are knackered. Here is the rest. This big uh, Demi John is 25 litres. It's what we made last year. We didn't even fill it. Um, so we've now got all of this. Um, we're obviously going to transfer these um, tomorrow over to another sterilised container. I didn't show you all the boring stuff like us sterilising equipment because that's not a very exciting video. So yeah, and it's just a couple more. There's one there and one there for us to have as apple juice tomorrow because I have Olivia Allen Marguerite coming over so we're going to do some taste testing of some different blends so I've made a blend of um, russet and coxes and then a, bl a bramley blend for us to try right now I'm going to go and sit down 